Pak. Total gibber. Happened it. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibber. Happened it. Happened. Happened again. Another sign. Accused of signing total gibber. Happened again. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibber. Happened again. Language interpreter accused of signing total gibber. Happened. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibber. Happened accused of signing total happened gibberish. Again. This time Another it was at the sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibber. Happened again. Can't say this was not a crime, but it was an accused of signing total gibber. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. Happened again. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. Happened. Language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. Happened. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. Interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. Happened. Happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing. Nothing will make you feel better after killing a bunch of Palestinian okay. kids than a happy meal. We don't want to even to cease. We don't want to even tell Israel to stop. And suddenly we woke up and we found McDonald's are giving free meals. I do I
They are first collected by the outer ear and directed by the They are first collected by the outer ear and directed by ear. But again, it's about perceived loudness, you know, because if you took those headphones out and held them at arm's length, they would be very quiet. But if you put them there and there, that's probably 90, 95 decibels over a period of however long you're listening to your music every day. So it just multiplies that kind of cumulative effect of hearing damage. Um, so it is, you know, I could even say it's too late for me, you know, I've been doing this way too long.
space became a virtual reality. We find it necessary. We know we will win. We have confidence in the victory of good over. It's a little bit, he, he do get the weird and the wonderful. He, I mean, he thought we were that much of a loan shop. He went, in, I'll leave my phone as collateral if you can do me a phone. He's like, we're not a phone shop. We're not a loan shop. Yet. I'll even leave you my gold. I'm like, mate, we're a phone shop. <laughs> All they see is the cigarettes on in the front. And I don't see the electronic bit in front of it. So, yeah. Yeah, get asked for a lot of tobacco and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll get it on. Hexagons are mental. I'm going to have to use this screen to illustrate how mental hexagons are. Um, so, I'm going to look at the eye of this fly. Right. Und undeniably, flies have got cool eyes. And you can see that um, it's broken up into little individual lenses. Individual lenses which are hexagonal shape. And of course, that's, that's, that's banging anyway. And so, I've been looking up, you can see I've been looking up, it's still on my Wikipedia page. There is a huge hexagon on the top of sand. It reflects the fact that there are some very basic physical laws which seem to control, or not seem to control, but seem to have impacts way beyond themselves. Like, for example, like wetlands and stuff. Wetlands being determined by forces for millions of years in the making, and by the same forces that like cause asteroids to collide with each other, also cause tides to rise up and soak mangroves. Um, and I don't understand it at all. Um, yeah. So yeah, hexagons. That's hexagons. Um, hexagons. It's confusing the hell out of me. But there's a kind of the physical laws which construct this, like the shape of the universe are definitely like, I would, I would say, yeah, 389, that makes quite a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was onto some things. I mean, he was a Tesla guy. Um, 
why would somebody throw a brick through my car window last night? And I could kind of understand it if they had taken something, but they haven't taken anything. But you could be like, oh, they might have needed the money, but they literally just threw a brick through my window and did nothing. Friday nights. Yeah, Friday <laughs> nights. Crazy. I'm not a bad person, but the fact that I've never been sent to jail. Um, I've squatted hundreds of millions of pounds of of buildings. Um, I've ran loads of free parties, been arrested for a lot of them, but never charged. Or, yeah, it's all been thrown out of court every time. I actually had a flat at the time, but look, my brothers and cousins were street homeless. Yeah. And we just, there, there was no help, there was no support. There was just hundreds of empty buildings. So we looked into the law about it all, and we literally just broke in. When the police turned up, said take us to court, get three months in the building, and then as you get in the then you get another one. There's no rules in the squad, so it's complete anarchy. But one guy turned up one day, um, he was there for just one day, and he cut his hands, so he had blood all over his hands, and then he put his hands prints on the wall, yeah. fingerprints and everything, and they were wanted under it. And yeah, we turned out that he was a, a drug, he was like a massive drug dealer that had been on the run for about two years. Knives, poles, bottles, bricks. I'm a, I'm a complete anarchist. I wouldn't even say outlaw. I, I've got no masters, no slaves. As long as I don't hurt no one, then I see nothing wrong with what I do. As long as there's no victims of my actions, then I see no wrong doing. And, and that's half the reason I've been charged, because we're pleased by consent. Yeah, so a lot of the laws we have about the statutes, there's something that as a populace, we were supposed to agree to. But if you don't actually accept or understand any of these processes, it's very hard to charge for these things. If you have no victim, if you understand the law, if you have no victim, there's not really any case against you. You'll get people that come into shops and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll just bring a, say they might bring a dog in or something like that and uh, without asking and next thing you know the dog has messed on the floor and things like that <laughs> and then they'll just walk out without saying anything. <laughs> they won't even mention it, you know. Um, that's absolutely, that's absurd. That, that's happened before. Um, yeah, I've had, uh, yeah, I've had people come in singing and dancing and things like that, you know, that's, that's what entertains me. The organic syndrome, which is caused by damage of the brain tissue, is characterized chiefly by an impairment of intellectual functions. These patients are often disoriented, especially in time. They tend to live in the past. They tend to live in the past. They tend to live in the past. Despite the severe loss of mental faculties, the old personality usually shines through and determines whether the patient will be pleasant and easily managed or irritable, cranky and suspicious. Always aware they the play they may fill their memory gaps and tabulate. Invented and Oh, my head is killing me. I don't know why I do it to myself every week. I go out thinking I'm going to have a good time. Don't know if I do or not because I don't remember. And then I'm left with the most awful hangover ever. Time to go to the shop and get some bits to actually help me get through the day. Because that tea is not enough. It never is enough. But I'm British, so I believe tea fixes everything. Such an awful day. Oh, a puddle. Oh, for God's sake, another one. Just get a car to run me down right now. I'd feel better than this headache I'm getting. I never know where I'm going in this shop anymore. Uh, I think some buenos would be good for the day. Uh, let's get this water. Oh, oh, can't reach it. Too small. Got it. I really hope.
think this actually helps. Some pain relief. Because hopefully that will fit. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, I can't, I can't be looking at that today. Pay for everything. Hopefully I've got enough money after last night. I haven't actually checked yet. Okay, it's all gone through, it's okay. Time to go back and um, hopefully start healing. So cold, huh? Check for the car. I wonder if that person knew I was hungover. Not both ways. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, never mind, nearly got hit by a car. Okay, there's definitely nothing there this time. Oh, Try to avoid that puddle. The world's got it out to get me today. On my back. Got a lovely dog to greet me. Time to get these tablets down and just feel better. And as much as I say this every time I drink, I really am never drinking again. I think we're sick and it's only getting worse as we sit on the brink of the precipice that scientists made and politicians fueled with underhanded deals and speeches that made their bad business look golden as they take meals out of the mouths of the needy, boldened to lie in the pockets of the famous and greedy. They turn on the vulnerable and the power of the powerful to push us into wars, a new day, a new recession, and unlimited horrors beyond all human comprehension. Look at what they made, the sage is set for the end of us. We will rot into oblivion, mold with spores and vapours and dust. Buildings will crumble and rust, all because the trust was in the wrong place. Humankind is a disgrace, and now we are here at the beginning of the end. More than any can make us believe, the situation is really far more than complex. So all we can manage to ask is what comes next. Like sourdough bread, like sourdough bread, like sourdough bread, like sourdough bread. Burgers just taste better. Burgers just taste better. Burgers just taste better. Burg, 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 burg.
Thank you. 